Vanessa Redgrave, Meryl Streep and Glenn Close cannot save the new picture evening. But this adaptation of the bestseller of the same name by Michael Cunningham of The Hours fame does have some very redeeming features. It's the present day. Vanessa Redgrave as Anne Lord is on her deathbed, but she keeps going back in time to the 1950s when she was attending the society wedding of her best friend Lila. That's where she meets Harris. Where did you go? I snuck out. I felt like a fool. No, you were nothing like a fool. You were a hero. You were the hero. I hid most of the notes. No. Anne's relationship with Harris amounted to a one-night assignation. She grew up, had children, gave up on her aspirations to be a singer. And now, as she lies dying, we hear how Harris was the long-lost love of her life. This story, told in a series of flashbacks, has an illustrious cast. From the 1950s, Claire Danes, Meryl Streep's daughter Mamie Gummer, Hugh Dancy and Patrick Wilson as Harris have significant roles. Also from that time is Glenn Close, who's good as the matriarch planning the wedding. I hear you're going to honour us with a song at the reception. Oh, I don't think anyone's all that likely to feel honoured. Have you made your selection? There's some lovely Schubert songs. The cast populating the contemporary sequences include, in addition to Vanessa Redgrave, a fleeting appearance from Meryl Streep, Natasha Richardson and Tony Collette. Richardson and Collette play Anne's daughters. They're good. Collette has the more fleshed out role. Well, she keeps going on about people we've never heard of. She says Harris was her only love, and then she tells us she and Harris killed somebody. This film amounts to beautifully shot melancholic melodrama, but it's leaden. Significant aspects of the story aren't really explained. Why does Harris have such a mesmerizing impact on all who meet him? Is Buddy, Lila's brother, played nicely by Hugh Dancy, just a sad lush, a closeted gay man, in love with Anne, or all of those things? One of the redeeming aspects of the film is an intimate scene in which real-life mother and daughter Vanessa Redgrave and Natasha Richardson are, for the first time, playing mother and daughter together on screen. We sat down with Natasha Richardson to talk to her about her role in the film. There's obviously a very real element in the relationship between you and your mother. Did, did that dynamic come through in, in the scene together, do you think? I think so, because you're bringing all your, your history and relationship, difficulties, love, um, all, that's, all that's for free in a way. And, um, you know, it's just very painful to imagine her dying. Obviously, what goes on between a, a child and a parent in many ways is quite private. Did you mm. think about that in terms of doing that scene with your mother, that there were private things that uh, bring you together as people in this world, and yet you were really acting in a very public medium? Yes, I tried. I didn't think of it as a public medium. It's uh, because the atmosphere that was created on set was so intimate and so focused on on just the performances and the actors that um, that it didn't feel like oh or, I mean it felt like you were exposing yourself in the right way, in a way that you could and that would serve the story in the film. Are you impressed by the lack of vanity that your mother has as, as an actress? Because she isn't in any way afraid to play elderly, is she? No, I, I, it's one of the most wonderful qualities about my mum. And maybe it's because she's such a great beauty um, that she's never, ever been vain. Just that she just doesn't have that uh, at all. How about you? I mean, do you look in the I mirror? I am vain. I mean, not vain. I don't, I don't look in the mirror and go, oh, you're how marvellous. I look in the mirror and go, oh, or, oh, not bad today. Um, but I'm, I'm much more insecure about my looks than, um, than my mum. Yeah. Your mother is a very strong-willed woman. Do you mm. think that that has really helped her as an actress? Has it helped her as an actress? I'm sure, because it's, it's part of who she is and... You have to be pretty strong-willed to uh, survive in this profession. And have you, have you ever felt like strangling her? Oh, yes, sure, of course I have. 
and I'm sure she's felt like strangling me too. <laughs> Do you feel in a way that you have learnt things from your mother's career or her experience that have actually had an impact on you in other ways? For example, I mean, she is a public figure. Mm. She's more than just a really accomplished actress. Mm. And a lot of people think she's a kind of loony lefty in mm. a way. Mm -hmm. And that has had an impact on how people perceive her. Do you think it's also made you cautious about how you negotiate your career? Um, I don't think people, I think people's perception of her has changed along with, with how much she has changed in the last years. Um, uh, her outlook is, is much less black and white than it used to be and much broader and she does so much work for children and humanitarian causes that um, I think people are conscious of that now. Uh, it was very difficult for me for a time when I was growing up um, to have my mother labelled and branded in a certain way. Um, it was very, very difficult. Um, but it's not anymore. It's, uh, we've, we've moved on. And, and yes, to answer your question, it certainly put me off being political in my life.